The much more common reaction to fillers is what's called post-hyaluronic acid FARI. So what it is, is hyaluronic acid filler comes in a long molecule. Some molecules would have higher incidence of FARI afterwards, and those tend to be the, the Juvederm family. However, any hyaluronic acid product is at risk for FARI afterwards. When you have a long molecule of hyaluronic acid filler, your body breaks it down into smaller pieces. So as it breaks down, it can draw in more water because there's water binding sites all over the spaghetti piece, if you will. As your body is allowing water to come into this space, now there's more water retention where the filler was. And that's where you get these people who have filler migration as well as when they get the lymphatic obstruction. Why? FARI is a T cell mediated process. So that means when you get this fluid collection, the T cells in your immune system actually come to this area and say, whoa, 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 why is there a traffic jam here? Why are the lymphatics not flowing here? This happens more commonly in people with a history of swelling, history of allergies, someone who swells if you go on airplanes or if you eat a bunch of salty foods, just the, the people that tend to swell, kind of like myself, I'm one of these. Y'all know my story, right? This happened to me. This was filler stuck under my eyes and literally like you could, it was palpable. You could see it, touch it, feel it. It was like a puff under my eyes. It was awful. 